All right, here in this next video, we're gonna be going over and covering installing the front brake, the cable, the caliper, and then sizing the cable up and everything for it, and adjusting the caliper itself to grab where you want it to. So let's go ahead and we'll get right on into this. A uh, couple tools we're gonna need, a um, pair of you know pliers for crimping, the little clip right here, um, this is actually a tool specifically designed for adjusting the rotor in case the rotor is not perfectly straight. I've, to save time, I've adjusted it pretty much right on. So you don't, sometimes if you spin your wheel, you'll have your rotor wobbling back and forth on you. Um, I've adjusted it pretty much right on the money. Call that good, but I still have it here just in case I need it. Need to mess with it a little more. And our five millimeter Allen wrench. And that's gonna be for doing our adjustments on the caliper here. Um, one other tool I forgot to mention, we're probably going to need a 3 millimeter to get in this hole right here to adjust the brake pad. So we'll get a 3 millimeter T wrench for that here. Um, coming up here to the cal to the brake lever, uh, when we install this cable here, we're going to want to install it on this first hole right there. So we go ahead, hook it in here, spin this cable over. Run the cable through there, and basically just snug that up right there. Run our cable into there. Now this will give us, you know, there our adjustment here we need for when we go to adjust the cable if we need to do, make any fine adjustments to it. Uh, we're gonna install the clamps on here, but we're not gonna do that here in this video, just to save time. So we'll let our cable sit here for now. Our caliper here, this is a stock GoPed Mad Dog caliper. We got our two bolts for it for installing it, so go ahead and install those. Get that guy started. And this, these are our five millimeter. There we go, get them started. So we'll go ahead and we'll just tighten those guys down in there. Get this guy finished up. So we got both of those tightened down now. Don't need to get crazy tight, but just you know, tight enough to stay in there. Now our cable right here, we're gonna run our cable through here. Once we run it through there, this little guy down here, come on, get it close up in there. We're gonna do is run our cable through here now. So you see that we're gonna run this cable right through here, and it should sit in this little groove right in here. So this little groove should sit right in there. So we'll go ahead and make sure our cable is in our caliper right there, and also make sure see how it's falling out up here. Make sure that is in position right there. Make sure that's all in there tight before we go and start adjusting our caliper. So now we've got everything, made sure everything's tight in there in the caliper, the cable here. Now what we're gonna do is go and size this up a little bit. So let's see here. So let's bring, bring the camera right here. It's gonna be kinda hard to see in there maybe, but if you look at the caliper as I pull it here, it's gonna bring that one part of the caliper in. Basically what I'm gonna do is just pull this up here, take up a little bit of slack so I don't have to make as many adjustments to the actual caliper, to the pads itself in the caliper. So we're just gonna pull this back a little bit, put a little tension on there, and we're gonna use our five millimeter wrench. Get it in there, Let's see how we're looking down in there. Gonna adjust it in a little bit more. We'll call that pretty good right there, so we'll leave it like that. We'll go ahead and our, tighten up our cable now. All right, making sure our cable here is staying in the groove right there, so there's a little knot. It's kind of hard to see, probably on camera. It's even hard to see here in person, but there's a little groove, a little notch on the caliper right here, and that's exactly where you want that cable running through in there. So we'll go ahead. Leave it like that. 
make our final little tightment, tighten on here, tighten it up, go ahead and spin our wheel. So you can hear the rotor tapping on the pad a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit the brakes a couple times, realign everything. Now you don't hear it hitting on there anymore. So if you look now, it's kind of hard to see. There's a little bit of play in, or a little bit of gap between the rotor and the pad. This little uh, little trigger or this little dial right here, you can adjust that, move it to tighten it up accordingly. So let's go ahead and hit our brakes a couple times. You can see, hopefully you can see on camera, it's getting a little closer to that. We're gonna go ahead and adjust that a little bit more. One more notch, now you can hear it tapping. So you can, if you listen close, you can hear that scraping. There's that light scraping, but you, if you look here at the wheel, it's spinning perfectly smooth. There's no drag, very, very little drag on there. And now if you come up here and you look at our front brake, you see how much play is in there? That's about what you want. I've seen a lot of brakes, people pull them, I mean, they'll literally go all the way to the grip almost. I mean, I guess if you prefer that, you know, great. Me, personally, when I hit the brake, I want it to grab right away. So that's pretty close. If you want to fine dial it in a little more, you can adjust your little adjustment up here. You know, tighten that up a little bit, and that makes it even tighter. So that gives you even less play for a full stop. Coming down here to the wheel. Everything spins great. Looking real good. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna double check all our bolts on here before we go and cut this. So checking our bolts, these two bolts back here, bring the camera around. You have this bolt down below right here and this one up here. And go ahead and tighten those down, making sure everything's nice and tight before we go out and ride. So we got our brakes, checking those. Call that good. We'll check our two side bolts here again. That one's good, good. And then our last one here, we'll check this guy. All right, that one's good. Check our brakes again. Everything's working good. So now last, what we're gonna do is use our cutters. This extra cable right here, you don't want this much brake cable just sitting here hanging here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, cut it. After we cut it right here, we got this little you know, I guess it's just basically to cover the cable up so you don't, it doesn't unravel and doesn't poke you or anything. And we'll use our little clamp, little um, um, crimps. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and crimp it on there. So now it won't come off and it protects you. So, brakes are working good. Wheel spins freely. Just a little bit of grab as you hear. That's perfect exactly what you want. So I hope that helps you guys. Um, one thing I want to mention on these brakes before I forget, um, if you do use a three millimeter wrench Allen key here, three millimeter Allen key, sorry, and you put it in here to adjust the inside pad in, there's Loctite on that. And when you adjust that, that breaks that Loctite loose. And what will happen now, once you break that Loctite loose, your brakes, you check your brakes, you get everything dialed in, everything seems great and fine. You go out riding for a couple minutes, five, 10 minutes, all of a sudden your brakes seem like you're grabbing the lever and it's pulling it in too far. You're like, what's going on? What I've learned is once you break that Loctite loose, that pad works its way back out. Um, if, you get, if you guys want, if I get enough interest in it, I'll do a full video on how to, you know, basically pull your caliper apart, reassemble it, and adjust that bolt, you know, that bolt in there and re-Loctite it up. Um, so that's a little bit more involved of a video, but this should do the trick for now. Um, this little lever, a little dial right here is all you really want to have to adjust if you can. So I hope that helps. Um, these two bolts right here, I know I didn't go over it in the video. I had everything pretty much lined up perfectly from the get go. But these two bolts right here, uh, if you loosen those up, that gives you a little bit of play in your caliper to move it back and forth to adjust it. Any fine little movements and, you know, to dial in your brake pads and get everything lined up perfectly in there. So if you guys have any questions, I'm sure you will probably. This is a bit more involved. I mean, it takes time. I've 
I've been playing with these brakes for quite a few years now and I've learned a lot. So just, you know, practice makes perfect. You know, that's how you learn. So if you guys have any questions, um, send me a message, post stuff. I'll be happy to help. Uh, again, as always, thanks for watching.